And you'll be pleased to know that ejecting mm. is the theme of this week's fab fact. Is it? Yes. Okay. So, uh, very often in Captain Scarlet and Joe 90, if people got into difficulties in their aircraft, they would eject to safety. Yeah. Think of the Angel Interceptors, for instance. Uh, if uh -huh. one of those got shot down, the pilot would obviously eject. Yeah. One thing you may not realise, but it's going to be very obvious once we say it, mm. is that for many of those shots of pilots ejecting from their aircraft, the models of those aircraft were actually being flown upside down. What? So, wow. Well, what would happen, you see, is you'd have ah. the model being flown upside down, yes. maybe with smoke pouring out of it. Love um, it. And then at the right moment... First, the cockpit canopy of the model would be yeah. released, which would yeah. then fall to the studio floor. Yes. yes. And then the miniature figure of the pilot inside the model would also be released and fall to the floor. Then, obviously, you just turn that footage upside down, and suddenly you have a shot of a pilot ejecting from an aircraft. Oh, they were great. so clever on those shows, I like weren't they? That. Yeah. Yep. The earliest example of this that we can find is in Thunderbirds Edge of Impact. Uh, when the pilot of the Red Arrow ejects to safety. We must stress that that's the earliest that we can find, but not necessarily the earliest actual example full stop. As with many of the breakthrough effects techniques on these shows, they were probably being used in some form or another much earlier than we think they were. Um, yeah. But generally, before Thunderbirds, if someone needed to eject from their aircraft or spaceship, either you would see the puppets ejecting from the, co the cockpit, but with no corresponding model shot of their vehicle, uh -huh. Um, yeah. as in the first episode of Fireball XL5, or okay. you cut from a shot of the puppet ejecting to a suddenly empty model, as in the Stingray episode, Rescue uh, from the Skies. Yes, yes. With yes. Thunderbirds, though, they finally seem to have cracked it, and with Captain Scarlet and Joe 90, suddenly you'd see a lot more ejecting shots. And they obviously decided, well, we, we know how to do it now, let's do it all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. But the technique wasn't perfect. What gives it away is that sometimes gravity would act on the ejecting pilots in a way that it wouldn't do if they were travelling straight up rather than down. OK. Most notably, there is an episode of Joe 90 called Arctic Adventure, which opens with the crew of a bomber ejecting before it crashes into the Arctic wastes. Mm -hmm. As the miniature figures of the pilot and co-pilot eject, the co-pilot figure seems to catch his feet on the model which causes his chair to flip over in such a way that it looks like he's, eject he's ejecting upside down. Now, that's getting confusing, uh, isn't it? Filmed upside down. Yeah, looked like yeah. He was yeah, anyway. But again, yeah. a remarkably simple technique that went on to be used elsewhere in the effects industry, including later Anderson Productions, uh, up to uh -huh. and including Space Precinct. Oh, really? So, oh. Richard James, it's time oh, for no. a quiz for you. <sighs> oh, gosh. Are you ready? Mm, on, uh, in which Space Precinct episode oh. did the FX team show characters ejecting from a doomed vehicle bike, hanging the model upside down, releasing the ejectable oh. section, and letting gravity do the work? I, I mean, I've got a 1 in 24 chance, haven't I? Well, no, because um, you were in it, so you should know. Well, which really? It was. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, there was a chase sequence in just about every episode, really, yeah. but I'll say, I'll say one of the early ones Predator and Prey. How's that? Uh, uh. Uh, protect and survive? Uh, uh. Oh, go on. One more guess, go on. The power. Uh, uh. Yeah, oh. No, I'm afraid oh. it was Smelter Skelter. Um, oh, right. Brogan and Haldane's cruiser is caught in the wake of a smelting ship and they eject from the, the cockpit from the rest oh, of the ship. Yes. Remember that whole cockpit yes, section? Yes, the cockpit, the whole thing. Yeah. With, yeah, and yes, as I the cockpit see. section falls into camera, the weight of the emergency lights on top of it is clearly causing uh -huh. it to tilt to one side, which wouldn't oh, happen right. if it was traveling straight up. So another giveaway of the <laughs> okay. technique right there. Okay, yeah, yeah, interesting. Such That's a great technique. Yeah, I mean, it's that way of thinking, I think, which really made people like Derek Meddings... Uh, Brian Johnson and Steve Begg, yes, the yep. experts in their field, because they 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 wouldn't be constrained by, yeah, that is up on the camera and that is down. That's right. They would put the camera on the floor, pointing up to the sky, yeah, like uh, Brian did with uh, the space explosions in space nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Do all sorts of, uh, of wine backs and, and yeah. multiple exposures. I mean, incredibly, incredibly clever people. Simple yet elegant solutions. It's rather nice. Isn't it? I've been watching uh, Robin of Sherwood, 1980s series with Michael oh, Craig on ITV4. Yes, because I remember it, you know, from back in the day and thought I'd give it another watch. And uh, 
I was doing a bit of reading around, and a, a, a similar thing has occurred there in that they've had to come up with a, a very simple solution to a problem. So they used real castles uh, while they were on location, but of course, castles nowadays are rather tumble down and don't look like the castles did in the you know eleventh mm. or twelfth century. So they came up with a rather elegant and simple solution. In the back of uh, some shots, you will see teams of extras looking like they are building and uh... fixing holes in the castle walls. Amazing. It's quite nice, isn't it? Mm, that's a great and idea. And I like that. It's a similar thing, isn't it? That being able to look at a problem from a from a certain angle and come up with an elegant and simple solution. Yes.